Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a couple months ago, I shared five healthy food swaps to help you lose weight, and you guys freaking love that video. But today I have 10, and these are some of the most requested from that last video, and some of probably your favorite junk food treats, but I'm gonna show you how to swap them out because when I was going through my own weight loss journey, one of the biggest struggles for me was figuring out what to eat. Your girl loves food, I like junk food a lot, and I wanted to still be able to enjoy foods but still lose weight and feel better and get healthier. So these are some of the things I swapped that made the biggest difference. So if that sounds like you and you're excited for this video, I want you to hit that thumbs up, give it a like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You guys, I have so many videos like this with more tips for you. If you are on a weight loss journey, if you're trying to transform your life and get healthy, like I did, I lost 45 pounds, you guys. I'm with you, make sure you subscribe so you can check out those other videos. But right now, let's dive into these 10 healthy food swaps. Okay, quick note on all of this stuff too, it's all from Albertsons, so it's just like a normal grocery store. Most of it can be found at like literally any grocery store that is near you. It's not a specialty one like a Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. And also when I'm looking at labels, I look at a couple things. One, the protein intake. Two, the sugar. Um, so one, if it's like natural sugars or added sugars and then just how many grams of sugar it has. I look at carbs, but not at how many grams of carbs, really just more the source of those carbs, like where do they come from? And then always at the ingredients to see like what's going on, is there a bunch of added stuff that you don't need? So that's kind of how I judge if something's like good to go or like a no-go. So the first thing is one of Ryan's favorite foods in the entire world, it's one of mine too. I use it multiple times a day, but not this one. I'm gonna show you like the average one first. It's peanut butter. Um, this is just Jif, which by the way, is Jiffy a brand? I, is that what I call it? I'm very confused right now because I've always called it Jiffy and then I saw this and I was like, it's Jif. Are there two different brands? I'm confused. Um, okay, so this is just the standard peanut butter. It's creamy peanut butter. It shows you it's seven grams of protein. Like that's great per serving. So you gotta go back and look at the label though. So we know it has seven grams of protein, 16 grams of fat, that's fine you guys. It's healthy fat. Peanuts are a great source of fat and protein. Awesome helps curb cravings, cool. But it has three grams of sugar, two of them are added. So they've added sugar into this mix. Sodium is 6%, like fine, packaged foods are gonna have that. Protein, like we said, is seven. So now I'm gonna look at the ingredients. The ingredients should say peanuts, maybe a little salt, that's it. There shouldn't be anything else, but there is. So there's like roasted peanuts, sugar, molasses, fully hydrogenated, grapeseed, or it says rapeseed, is that a thing? <laughs> and soybean oils, um, and a bunch of other stuff. Like unnecessary, too many ingredients that you don't need to be putting in your body. So instead, go for just a pure natural peanut butter. So this one is just old fashioned peanut butter, has eight grams of protein, um, and it literally is peanuts, and contains 1% or less of salt, that's it. So like, this is the ones you wanna go for. Just peanuts, maybe a little bit of salt, no added sugars, no added oils. Peanuts have a lot of natural oils as is, so like, just go for the real deal. It'll make a huge difference in the flavor. It'll be better tasting, it'll be better for you, you will stay full longer, and you won't have all the added junk going into your body that you don't need. Where are my soda drinkers at? I used to love Dr. Pepper, I feel like you either love or hate Dr. Pepper. I don't really know a lot of people that are like an in-between, indifferent. It's like a love-hate thing. Um, okay, got some orange crush, citrusy vibe, Dr. Pepper. It doesn't really matter what soda you're drinking. If you're drinking soda, you need to stop. Um, I don't know what the difference between these are as far as, let's look at the what's in them sugar-wise, because literally that's all it is. It's basically carbonated, chemically sugary water. Yeah, water, carbonated water, high fr fructose corn syrup, citrus acid, um, all natural flavors, modified cornstarch, some type of gum, yellow salt, all these dyes. I mean, caramel, artificial flavors. Okay, but let's talk about the sugar. Literally, I can't even. So when I was younger, I used to drink like Cokes and Dr. Peppers and I'd get like the 32 ounce, sometimes the 44 ounce and be like, summer day. I can't even believe it now that I know what's in them, it's crazy. Um, okay, so your orange crush, 71 grams of added sugar. And Dr. Pepper, oh good, it's only 65. <laughs> oh my gosh. So in this one bottle, you're getting almost three times
times the amount of added sugar that is really like recommended allowed okay in your day in one and l not, like no other benefits there's nothing beneficial about this i don't want to say other benefits it's horrible like it's just horrible <laughs> there's nothing good about it you can argue with me till you're blue in the face it's not okay so if you are someone who likes that yummy kind of sweet carbonated drink i get it like i get wanting the carbonation and i honestly also get that like just like flavored bubble water doesn't always cut it and you don't really get any benefits from that either right so it might be sugar free so you're not getting the sugar but you're just getting carbonated water so here is my favorite hack that is the best swap ever and you are going to thank me for this one so my swap for soda kombucha if you guys haven't tried kombucha you're just like that's really hippy dippy no you have to try the gt synergy i've been drinking gts for honestly probably almost 10 years which is so crazy to think about it is the first brand i ever had i fell in love with i've tried other ones they're not the same they're just not the quality the taste the flavor that like all of the different flavors they have are the best um especially this flavor if you guys are like more of like a citrusy orange crushed soda drinker the california citrus is so yummy it is like packed with flavor but it's also packed with nutrients so you're not getting just bubbly sugar water it's bubbly which is nice so you have that like almost carbonated feel from the kombucha but it's organic it's unpasteurized it has so many incredible enzymes and probiotics for you it only has 16 grams of sugar which again is like you know when you're looking at different things we just talked about this one this has 71 grams of sugar what so only 16 and it's from good stuff so ingredients in here you have gt's kombucha black tea green tea, kiwi juice, kumquat puree, Meyer lemon, apricot, fresh pressed ginger, vanilla extract, and 100% pure love. So the sugar you're getting is from real foods, real things, like right in here. It is, I don't even, like, I don't even know what to say. It's just like the best swap you could ever ask for, for a soda. They have tons of different ones. Like I love their gingerade. They have like watermelon, so many different flavors. So if you are someone who likes to mix things up, if you need to have that flavorful bubbly drink every day, you need to try kombuchas. And I'll put a link down below for GT Synergy so you guys can go to their website and like see all the stuff they have because they're amazing. I love partnering with them. And if you guys are doing summer shape up, you can also win a year supply of GTs, which We'll just get you all set up to make your swap super easy. I don't know about you guys, but I used to eat yogurt for breakfast every single morning and I would do it for dessert all the time. I just was like, it's a healthy snack. So this is just like a YoPlay original, excellent source of calcium, cool. Um, so this is one of the brands I used to have all the time. And if you look at the back, 150 calories, cool, that's not bad. Like if you're gonna have this with some cereal or something, great. Only two grams of fat, that sounds nice. 28 carbs. 20 grams of sugar oh my gosh you guys it's so tiny so really we're only supposed to be having like 24 grams of added sugar every single day in our diets you guys and here's 20 right here and it has six grams of protein so like fine whatever a better choice if you are a yogurt lover like i love yogurt and i i usually will do like plain greek yogurt so i don't get any of the sugars and stuff but i know that that's like not ideal for a lot of people but something like this is a great option so this is a triple zero it has 15 grams of protein zero grams of added sugar it's only 100 calories you actually are getting less calories you have zero grams of fat where this one has two and 15 grams of protein when this only has six and then again this one has no added sugar it has five grams of sugar in it but that's natural from the milk like that you use that makes yogurt that's just natural um so only five grams and you're getting 15 grams of protein and it's still that vanilla flavor so vanilla vanilla it has a taste it's yummy it's not going to be like plain and sour or anything if you are a yogurt person make the swap again i always like to try to stick to something like under five grams of sugar five or under so this is good and again it's not added sugar it's just the real deal already in it from the milk and you get all that protein too moving on to cereal so last video i talked about how i used to eat this one cereal i'll just tell you a special k that it was like eat two a day and you're gonna lose all this weight da, da, da. and i swapped it for protein pancakes which are a way better choice but if you are someone who loves cereal and you're like no give me all the sugar cereal i wanted to give you guys a better for you cereal swap 
Um, because like Cocoa Puffs, right? We have uh, how much sugar? 12 grams of added sugar, only two grams of protein. The ingredients, as you can imagine, whole grain, corn, sugar, rice, flour, corn syrup, cocoa, blah, 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 blah. tons of just like, no, ingredients. Um, so there are a lot of brands now doing more like protein, low sugar, healthy, better for you cereal swap. So this one was good because it was Cocoa Cocoa. Um, this is Three Wishes. There's another one, Magic Spoon, that I really love. Um, but if you look at it, it has eight grams of protein, but only has three grams of sugar, which is like nothing. And you can see their ingredients right there. Chickpea, tapioca, pea protein, organic cane sugar, cocoa, natural flavor, salt, and monk fruit. Simple, clean, you're getting eight grams of protein per serving compared to, what was this one? Two, which is nothing. And then this one has 12 grams of sugar. This only has three. It's an easy, obvious swap. So if you still love your Cocoa Puffs, swap it for this. I love a good pasta. I love Italian food, like give me all the pasta. But as you can imagine, it's not always the healthiest thing and it's really just the way that it's processed, the flours that are used, like you're not getting a lot out of your pasta. So I found a really good swap that I like to use and it's like a real pasta feel. I'm not just talking about swap it for spaghetti squash or zoodles. Of course, you can do that if you're trying to be super, super healthy. And those are great. I love those things. However, sometimes you just want pasta. So this one, that's just like your traditional penne. Um, it has seven grams of protein, just like fair. Like only one gram of sugar, one gram of fat, whatever. Um, but it's just like different types of like bleached wheat flours versus this red lentil pasta. This has 14 grams of protein. So seven per serving, same serving size, 14. So you're getting double the protein. Um, everything else is pretty much the same, except that this is made with red lentil flour instead of wheat flour. So also if you have a gluten intolerance, this is a better option. But this is one of those things that's really just about the quality of what you're putting in your body. Red lentil flour is obviously gonna be a lot better and then getting more out of it. So if you're gonna eat it, if you're gonna get the pasta, then get more protein. Get that benefit from it, just comparing those things. Something like this red lentil one would be a much better choice to still get your pasta fix. Okay, number seven swap is a mayonnaise swap. <laughs> and I'm putting this here because I feel like most people like to use mayonnaise in some way. Like you're putting it on a sandwich, you're mixing like egg salad, you're making a dip, like, a ranch dip. The ranch dip itself is not bad. It's a bunch of seasoning, maybe it has like high salt, whatever. But in general, like this isn't the problem. It's what you're putting it into that's the problem. So this is just like a store brand mayonnaise. There's no protein, 11 grams of fat, obviously. But the ingredients is where I started to have a problem because it's like the first ingredients, soybean oil, water, then there's eggs, then there's sugars and lemon juice and natural flavors and artificial flavors and all sorts of craziness. Again, this is one of those foods that should be very simple and very clean. So my swap for a mayo, if I still want that like tart mayo feel, is just real mayo. It's made with avocado oil. The ingredients are literally just avocado oil, organic eggs, organic egg yolk, organic vinegar, sea salt, and rosemary. That's it. Super clean, super simple. So if you're gonna make your dip, Go with something like this Primal Kitchen mayo that is made with the avocado. And if you want to be even healthier, if you want to lose extra weight, if you're trying to be more strict on your calories, then a better thing to do is swap it for something like the 0% Greek yogurt or split the difference, do half and half. Then I'm getting way more benefits, more protein, a little bit less calories, less of the fat in a dip because I'm just dipping it snacking. It's not like my main food source. And I get rid of all the junk from one of these. Cheetos. I, in high school, went through this phase where I ate flaming Cheetos. These are regular ones. I didn't get the flaming ones because I was like, I don't want to go there. <laughs> but I used to eat the flaming ones like nonstop for lunch. Like it was not a healthy diet, obviously for a lot of reasons, but I would like have that be like my lunch often. Um, I get it. Cheetos, they get on your fingers. It's all like yummy and delicious and cheesy and orange and whatever. But again, 10 grams of fat, fine. Protein's only two. Like we know, we know this is like an extra snack. But when you go into like the ingredients, again, it's a long, long list. First one being enriched cornmeal with a bunch of words that I literally can't pronounce after it. Vegetable oils with a million options of those. Some cheese seasoning, like what does that mean? Um, natural and artificial flavors. Like you get the idea. It's a laundry list of 
very overly processed foods that will impact our bodies over time. So if you're doing this like as a snack, one, obviously you're getting a lot of extra calories you don't need, but you're also getting a lot of like chemically processed foods that you don't need either. So healthier swap to still get your Cheeto fix is these hippies. There's other brands that do a similar thing, but they're made with organic chickpea, like flour basically. So just looking like serving size is the, uh, about the same. So in the same serving, you get 10 grams of fat, you only have five grams of fat. Um, in this one, you only have two grams of protein, you get four grams of protein. And the ingredient list is clean, baby, simple. There's like maybe six or seven things, organic yeast, chickpea flour, organic rice flour, sunflower oil, tapioca starch, fiber, it's just such a better option for you. So snack on them, enjoy them, get your cheetah on, cheetah, cheeto on, gosh, you guys. But just make a better swap and you can still enjoy those foods and those snacks that you like. Again, you don't wanna be eating them all day every day, but you can enjoy them without having all that added junk that your body doesn't want and you don't want, especially if you're trying to hit some fitness goals. I used to be a coffee creamer addict. Like my coffee was basically white because I would just mostly pour tons of creamer into it because it was so delicious and sugary. Um, and it was funny when I grabbed this one, I was looking at it and I was like, oh, like the sugar's not that bad. It's like five grams of sugar, but that's one tablespoon. And I don't know if you measure your coffee creamer, but if you're like me and you're just like, whoo, it's probably like four that you end up putting into your coffee, to be honest. Um, that's a lot of added sugar. Again, looking at the ingredients, it's just water, sugar, vegetable oil. Like why does there need to be vegetable oil in my coffee creamer? That's weird. Um, and a bunch of other things I can't pronounce. So if you are someone who loves coffee creamer, you want that sweet, creamy yumminess, I get it, but make a swap. So my swap, I went like hard. I went from this to like nothing and just unsweetened almond milk for a really, really long time. Then I started like putting a little stevia or monk fruit into it. And then now, obviously, as you guys know, I have Miss Congeniality Mood Boost, and this acts as my creamer. So the great thing about this is you can literally put one scoop in and your coffee will taste sweet and yummy. I think it was Coffee Mate they used to have this, I've talked about, it was like a nutty vanilla flavor. They don't have it anymore, but like, it was so good. I loved it so much. And that's what this reminds me of. It's like a nutty vanilla, so delicious. You don't even have to add milk, but I like that creaminess, adding like a coconut milk or almond milk or cashew or something to my coffee. So I'll do a little bit of that and my Miss Congeniality Mood Boost, which has all the adaptogens, vitamins, and minerals to help elevate your mood and reduce stress. And that is the best swap you could ever do for your coffee creamer. Bagels. Um, I don't really think I ate a lot of bagels growing up. And then I got into like a big bagel kick a while ago. Uh, and I was looking at all the different ones out there. I love an everything bagel. It's so good. And again, I need, like we all need carbs, you guys. I don't worry about the grams of carbs that are in things. Like it does not matter to me where those carbs come from, come from is what matters. Um, so that's what I started to look at because if you look at like healthier ones compared to like just, you know, your typical brand, like store brand one, they're pretty much the same when it comes to like your nutritional, like protein, sugar, calories, carbs, whatever. But the ingredients are what really do make the difference, especially someone like me who can be very sensitive to gluten with hypothyroidism, like there's a lot to look at. So these are one of the ones I have been loving. They're not gluten-free. So if you have a gluten intolerance, like these aren't gonna be your friend, um, but they do not bug me at all. Like I can eat them, all my digestion feels normal. I don't get bloated or cramping or anything. So these are epic everything from Dave's Killer Bread. Here's the thing. First of all, I know you guys can't feel this, but let me just tell you, these ones feel like really dense and hard. These feel like lovely and squishy and pillowy. So already there's that. These are also like covered in seasoning. This one's like kind of like just sad seasoning sprinkled on top, but like not that much. But then when you talk about ingredients, this one has a really long list of ingredients too, but the quality of what they're made with is very different. So first ingredient here, unbleached, enriched flour, 
wheat flour, um, oh my gosh, lots of things I can't pronounce. Then like sesame seeds, blah, 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 some gums. I don't even know. There's just a lot of weird stuff in this one. This one is organic wheat, whole organic wheat flour, water, organic epic everything seasoning. And it tells you everything that's in the seasoning. It's, I mean, it really is like all the seasoning and then just like flour, some oil, some water. Not much going on like super clean, super good. This is 13 grams of protein, these have nine, so that is obviously more protein here, which is great. Um, these have a little more fat, but like who cares because you're getting so much more stuff and better quality stuff. So there's probably other good brands out there, but again, I just wanted to get everything from like a normal grocery store, what can you find? So if you're a bagel person, you don't have to stop eating bagels. You just need to eat ones that are better for you that are gonna give you more of those macronutrients like your proteins and give you better quality ingredients. And number 10 is a milkshake. You know, Ryan always talks about how he used to get milkshakes all the time. I, I'm not a dessert person, like I'm not a big sweets person. So I was never a big milkshake drinker, but I know people freaking love their milkshakes. So I could not bring myself to buy a milkshake because I was like, I don't wanna waste that money. And I, like my other food I can donate. A milkshake you can't donate. And I just feel like it's a waste of money and everything else. So I did pull up the facts for a McDonald's medium chocolate shake. You guys, I about, lost it when I read this. This is a medium, not a large, medium. So in a McDonald's medium chocolate milkshake, there's 620 calories. That is a full meal amount of calories. Like think about if your day is even based on a 2000 calorie diet, but if you're trying to lose weight, you're probably more in a 12 to 1600 calorie range. That's like half your day. That's crazy. Okay, so whatever calories. It has sodium, it doesn't even tell you if it has protein. That's weird. Oh, it does have protein, yeah, protein. 14 grams of protein, cool, I guess. Um, 102 grams of carbs, which is a lot. I said I don't like pay attention to carbs, but over 100 is ridiculous. And 16 grams of fat, fine. But you guys, sugar, the sugar. Do you wanna guess? Drop it in the comments. It has 81 grams of sugar in the medium. 81 grams of sugar! I can't even believe this. Moral of the story, never get a McDonald's milkshake. I, I'm all for things in moderation. That's one that like, no, I'm sorry. No, there's nothing that is okay about that for your body. Like talk about mood imbalances, hormonal swings and changes, like that sugar, your blood sugar level, like holy no, absolutely not. Don't ever have it. I'm gonna make a recipe for you right now real fast that is a super easy, delicious, better for you chocolate shake that's gonna have like max probably 150 calories, maybe 200 calories, 20 grams of protein, all the goodness. I'll show you what it is. Here's all you need, you guys. LSF chocolate plant protein, your natural peanut butter you now bought, a banana that has sugar, but that's okay because it's like 15 grams of sugar and it's from a banana and it's real and it's gonna make it sweet and yummy and delicious. And some milk. Do this, put it together in a smoothie, throw some ice in there and you are going to have a yummy, chocolatey, peanut buttery, banana protein shake that is going to have over 20 grams of protein. It's gonna have all the nutrients you need. You're gonna get so many great healthy carbs and fats and everything to fuel your day but it will taste like a delicious treat. That was a lot of swaps. <laughs> I didn't realize how many 10 really was, like once you get into talking about them, but hopefully you guys liked this video and found that super useful. Again, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to just get healthier, making simple swaps like this will make a huge difference in you being able to reach your goals and also just still enjoy life and live life. Like that is what I did to lose 45 pounds. It wasn't some crazy drastic change. My bagels just dropped. It was just making little swaps like this and over time it makes a huge difference. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. It truly means so much to me. It tells me that you want more like this so I will keep making them for you. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, please, please, please. We are almost to 700,000. That is so exciting, you guys. This community has continued to grow. So help me get there, hit that subscribe button, share this video on this channel with people you love, especially if you know that they're on a fitness journey too. We are here to do this together. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.